Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Let's get ready together. My video today is a get ready with me and specifically I want to do kind of a demo with this BB cream I've been talking about a lot recently and also some other products by Jane Iredale. I recently did a yay or nay on the Jane Iredale Glow Time BB Cream, which I love and I have in two shades now. I have shade six and shade seven, so I'm mixing those babies together. Um, and then I also have some powders by Jane Iredale I wanna discuss and use and then a blush. So some people have asked me actually how it wears and how it applies and asking to do some type of tutorial. So that's what we're gonna do today. So this is sort of my like natural-esque get ready with me. I say natural S because I don't have all like, I don't have mascara that's like more natural and mineral, but I've got BB cream and powder and blush. I have a lipstick, but not a Jane Iredale lipstick. Anyway, so I'm gonna put a bit of the seven on the back of my hand and then a bit of the six as well. Now I like to use a wet, a damp beauty blender to apply this BB cream. Um, You could also mix it with uh, your moisturizer. So I just kind of dab them together like so and just kind of juke, 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 juke like that, you know. And then I like to just kind of go at it. Oh, I feel like I put too much seven in. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta put a little more six in this. The seven's gonna make me a wee bit too dark. Oops, a daisy. Anyway, I'm just gonna go over, add a little, a little six to that and just kind of dab it in and blend it. I do love the finish a damp beauty blender gives to this BB cream. Uh, I have tried using it, as I mentioned in my yay or nay video I just did this week. Um, I do find if I use just like oh, um, a brush, it gets a little bit too heavy looking, a little bit too cakey. But I really like the finish it gives. It's quite dewy, it's quite natural and healthy looking but it does provide some pretty decent coverage. So this is the Jane Iredale Glow Time BB Cream. Um, I was first recommended this by my esthetician and really liked it. I ordered it off of Amazon. And yeah, I've since ordered the number seven, the shade seven off of Amazon as well. Actually, I've gotten all my Jane Iredale stuff off of Amazon. I had some gift cards to Amazon and I had a little bit of fun money. So I'm like, ooh, let's let's try something new. And I saw that Jane Iredale is like one of the partners there. Okay, so as you can see, um, I still have some under eye circles. I don't have any sort of natural concealer, so I am gonna use my NARS, um, but I am certainly on the hunt for some type of like mineral concealer, healthier sort of concealer. I do feel like this BB cream covers up um, like blemishes and stuff pretty well and redness, but I do feel like I got some big old honk and dark circles. Plus I went out last night and I didn't sleep so well. So we gotta cover this up a little bit better. Um, so yeah, just using a wee bit of the NARS with my beauty blender. I am so in love with the beauty blender. I feel like I never used to use it. I thought it was the dumbest beauty tool. And now this is all I use. My like face makeup brushes get absolutely no love anymore. Sorry, makeup brushes. I'm totally cheating on you. Actually, the, 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 that stage is over. The cheating stage is done. I'm just totally married, like divorced from the makeup brushes and totally married to the uh, beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use this little Makeup Forever brush. Uh, to just kind of, you know, continue buffing in my concealer before I use powder. Now, I do have two Jane Iredale powders. I have the loose and the pressed version of her mineral powder. Come on, why won't you close? There we go. Um, so I have the Amazing Base Loose Mineral Powder in Warm Sienna, this guy. And then this one is the pressed. Oh, oops, there that goes. Um, and I believe this is the same name. Let me get the little bugger out. So this is the... Pressed Powder Base Mineral Foundation, and this is also in Warm Sienna. They both, I believe, have SPF. Yeah, they both have SPF 20, but they are such different colors. It's so weird. I got them both off of Amazon. They're both in the shade Warm Sienna, but like, look at this. So if we look at this guy, to me, this is like super yellowy, and this is just like so much darker. I mean, once you put it on the skin, like it just kind of melts in and you can't really tell, but I'm so weirded out by this. 
Is this normal? Does anybody else have this issue? Because I really like the warm sienna shade in the mineral, like the loose. Um, but I'm kind of freaked out by the press. I feel like it's like far too yellow and light. I was really, really surprised when I took that out. I'm like, hmm, that, that doesn't look the same. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna do a little bit of this uh, loose powder all over. I definitely prefer the loose. I'm just a loose powder kind of person, um, but I wanted to get the pressed version so that I could have it in my purse because loose powder can just be so bloody messy if you have it in a makeup bag and it gets all over and it's not so nice. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna use this fluffy Illa Musk powder brush and just put a bit everywhere. So I have not actually attempted using just the powder uh, as a foundation because I just, I know it won't give me enough coverage, but I'm very, very content with the coverage I get from the BB cream and then combine that with the powder to just kind of set it and just give it a little bit of mattification. I don't want the powder to be super, super matte, um, but I don't want to be shiny. So yeah, one thing about this BB cream, you definitely do need to powder um, or blot a little bit throughout the day, especially if you have oilier sort of skin, which I do. I think if you have dry skin, it would probably be okay. Okay, next I am using the Jane Iredale uh, Pressed Pure Press Blush, and this is in the shade Mocha. Very pretty. It's a really, really tiny little um, blush, but I feel like it's quite pigmented. A little goes a long way. Okay, smoky. so that is it for the Jane Iredale portion of this video. I only have the Jane Iredale BB cream and then those two powders and the blush. So now I'm just gonna finish getting ready and we'll have just like a normal little random chit chat. I'm uh, just gonna curl my lashes with the Fab Shoe Umra eyelash curler. Um, so yeah, anyway, today I'm getting ready to go meet a friend. I'm super excited. Yesterday, one of my friends told me he was coming in from New York. So now we're gonna meet up. Super excited. One of my closest friends from school, from university, and I never see him. I see him like maybe once a year, and I'm so excited. So we're just gonna meet and have coffee and catch up. Very, very excited to see him. This weekend, let's see, I'm working Saturday. Yeah, today's actually Friday when I film this. Uh, next, I'm using this Macchiato powder, just uh, this basic beige, nude tan eyeshadow color as I do in like every bloody get ready with me uh yeah but this weekend Saturday I'm working I've got a job and then I'm going to purge my closet I have started going through my clothes and I'm very bored with my clothes so I'm going to do a lot of purging a lot of dumping um I feel like I just need to start investing in like very basic things that I love that are good quality and that are classic and timeless and that I actually want to wear totally done with my 20s it's totally time for me to start investing anyway next using a maquillage liner this is the waterproof eyeliner in cold black I'm just going to do my upper waterline and let's see what else so my hubby is back in France right now and I am here taking care of our babies, our little kitties. Um, I didn't go because I thought I would work. And I did work, I had a couple jobs, but I definitely had more free time than expected, which was cool. I definitely needed like some downtime as well. But I'm super jealous and I totally wanna to go back to France. So I'm trying to convince my husband to go again in like June slash July, because that is when they have the big sales. So every January and every June, yeah, June slash July. They have these things called les soldes, which basically means the sales. And they have these incredible sales all over the place, like 50, 60, 70% off. It's kind of like Black Friday, but it's only in France. And, oh, it's fabulous. So I kind of want to go. I haven't been to Paris in like over a year and a half, almost two years, it'll be two years in June. So I'd really be happy to go back and visit but yeah so I, I keep sending my husband like emails with hey you need to go to the store and you need to buy me this like all these French beauty products so I'm actually really hoping that he gets me a few beauty su uh, surprises and I actually did email him to go to a couple stores and just like buy me random stuff because I really want to do like 
a French haul video with whatever he gets me. Okay, next uh, I'm using the RMS, uh, what is this, the Living Illuminizer as a highlighter because I'm trying to make this video as like natural as possible. I have not decided how I feel about this. I'm just going to dab a little bit on my cheekbones and then also on my nose and my cupid's bow. So when I say I don't know how I feel about this, I do feel like the shimmer in it, the sheen is a little bit too white. I sort of wish it had more of like a gold sort of tint to it. Um, I've, I've had this probably for like a year. I don't often use it. Now I'm starting to get more into it, but I do just sort of find it's a little bit on maybe the cool side. And also I just feel like I'm putting colored like coconut oil on my skin. And I'm, I mean, that's essentially what it is. It's like coconut oil, beeswax, castor seed oil, mica. There are very few, very, very few ingredients in this. But I do think RMS is like amazing. I've heard that it's like such a fabulous brand. So I'm trying to get more, trying to be open-minded and maybe I'll just like totally fall in love with this product. I don't want, I don't dislike it. I just haven't like gotten to that point where I'm like, oh my God, I need this. Um, and finally, I'm gonna do my lips with this lipstick from 100% Pure. So this is their Fruit Pigmented Pomegranate Oil anti-aging lipstick so it's kind of like it has like cute packaging so this is in the shade foxglove i was actually given this uh by 100 percent pure i went they're actually based in san jose so i went there for a casting for for an actual like modeling job for them I didn't get it but they gave everybody like two lotions two little hand lotions and then a lipstick so that was pretty cool and i really actually like the lipstick too i had never i had never tried this brand I'd seen it and I knew it existed and I knew it was local, but um, the lipsticks feel really nice. It's really, really smooth. Feels really good on your lips and it does give like a nice little case of color. All right, let's just brush out the old hair. Super, super natural kind of look today. I'm just probably going to put on my rain boots and take a little walk and go meet my friend, have some coffee, yay. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my tutorial review of the Jane Iredale BB Cream and Powder. I really, really like them. I feel like the BB Cream gives such a nice glow. Um, and I really like the powder. I like using them for setting it. Again, I've never actually used the powder uh, just on its own as a foundation because I know I need a little bit more coverage than that. Um, but so far, I really, really, really like this brand. I'm super excited about it. And I really see myself venturing much more into this brand and also other similar sorts of brands. So if you have any recommendations in that sort of realm, uh, like other sort of natural brands, I know I've asked this before, um, but I'm always looking for good recommendations for natural-esque sort of products. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I will be cleaning my closet and also cleaning papers. I feel like I have so much paperwork just in random boxes and it needs to be sorted and organized. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.